Hello, everyone. My guest today is Rarash Bernesco. He's an entrepreneur with more than 10 years experience in e-commerce and a good understanding retar- uh, regarding the market, especially in CE. He founded Retargeting five years ago and quickly became market leader in Romania, Bulgaria, Bulgaria Hungary, and Greece. The website's retargeting.biz. Rarash, you ready to take us to the top? Yes. Hi, Nathan. Thanks for inviting me. You bet. So just right off the bat, um, are you is your business model a SaaS-based model or are you taking like a cut on GMV? No, we're a SaaS business model. Okay, so tell me more about it. What's the company do? Describe one of your customers. Uh, so basically, we're trying to, uh, we're doing, we're automating uh, all the marketing channels available for e-commerce, from emails, newsletters, pop-ups, push notifications, SMS, and uh, since uh, 2018, Google, Facebook, and Instagram. And we're currently working on uh, becoming the first company worldwide will be able to deliver YouTube dynamic ads. This feature is not available yet. It doesn't exist anywhere. And we're trying to build it and hopefully it will be released on in Q1 2020. Let's come to that back to that in a second. But first, help me understand, on average, what are companies paying you per month to use the technology? Uh, the average uh, ticket right now is uh, 297 euros. 297, okay, and what do they get? What are you pricing against? Is it number of SKUs tracked, number of volume? What do you upsell against? We're, uh, we're, uh, we're charging based on the traffic of the website. So for small customers up to 15,000 sessions, we charge like 53 euros. Then we go to 260, 520, and up to 400,000 uh, sessions per month. It's like 1,500 euros. Anything else besides website, tra- website traffic you price against? No, that's it. Okay, website traffic, that's good. And when did you write the first line of code for the platform? Uh, I'm not a software developer. Or when did when did the team write the first line? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think it began uh, five years ago. Okay, so five, five, five and a half years ago, the MVP was released. Then we went uh, to we went through some updates and some changes, and uh, we are using now the fifth version of the software. Okay. Do you remember how much? Oh, well, first off, when was your first dollar of revenue? Do you remember? Uh, I can check and tell you if I want, but I think I'm pretty sure it was 2014, November 2014. Okay. And so how much did you spend on the MVP before your first dollar of revenue? Um, well, it's difficult because I had my revenue before the MVP. <laughs> so basically I'm a sales guy and I had contracts signed. I had like 20 contracts signed and already cashed for some money, but like a few thousand euros. Anyhow, the MVP costed around uh, 50 or 60,000 euros. How did you convince people to prepay you 30, 40, 50 grand or whatever it was, three, four, five grand up front before you had the product? Uh, can you repeat? I, I, I couldn't understand. You said you had contracts signed before the MVP. How did you convince people to pay you before you had the MVP built? I must admit I'm a good salesman. No, okay, I get that, but I want to I want to decode that, right? So specifically, what did you do? Uh, the idea is the following: what I gave the customers, I gave them the possibility. I presented the software. I told them that it's working progress, progress, and it's being built right now. Uh, and I gave them a post the possibility to to let's say to start using it after the software was released, like three six months after, but with uh, half of the uh, half of we have using uh, by paying half of the fee if they signed a contract with me in that day. So basically it was a, it was a time pressure and a pricing uh, uh, advantage for those customers. That's great. Now, how many customers are you now working with today? Uh, around 850 paying customers. 850, that's great. So 850 paying customers launched in 2014. Have you guys bootstrapped the company or raised? It's bootstrapped so far. We are planning to raise some money probably at the end of this year. Oh. Or starting. Why, do you want, why do you want to raise? Because we need to accelerate. Uh, we are increasing customer base, we're increasing revenue, and we opened the offices in, uh, in Greece, in Hungary, in Bulgaria, and we plan to open some in Italy and Spain. And we need to increase the, we need to increase the, 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 the speed that, and the, the, the everything. So we're accelerating. We how, how much do you hope to raise? Uh, an average 2.5. Okay, and what valuation do you hope to raise on? Obviously, you have to negotiate it, but... 16, 16 to 20 million. Okay, so pre-money, that's great. Now, you mentioned revenues. What's your revenues look like today? 
uh, 130,000 MRR per month, MRR, monthly recurrent revenue. Okay, about 130. So that, that would mean the average, uh, the average, well, well, before we go past that, 130 today, where were you a year ago? Do you remember? Uh, a year ago, this time I was doing uh, 35. $35,000 per month. Now you're doing about 130,000. That's 850 customers. And that would mean they pay on average about $150 a month. Okay. Oh, how much? 150. Uh, I think it's higher than that. Well, 150 times 850 customers is $130,000 a month. Okay. In this, in this case, the average is 150. Yeah. You might, you, I, I assume you're probably moving up market. So new customers today probably pay more than 150 a month. Uh, actually we just had an update in pricing. We are charging with performance. We had performance based pricing pricing so far. So we were charging 3.5 out of extra generated revenues and the customer would pay the budget to Google and Facebook. And now we're switching from that to fixed fee. Actually, we switched it live last month. Why, why, why is this important an update? We, because in, for us, it will help us scale faster because of uh, fixed fee, it's easy to plan, it's easy to budget, it's easy to estimate how we're going to spend. Uh, we had, for example, I'm using some SaaS businesses in order to, to help us with retargeting. And uh, in terms of performance pricing or in terms of variable costs, I had some nasty surprises uh, in the past. So... I don't want my customer to my customers to face this. Yeah, are you profitable today or burning cash? Uh, we are from the beginning of the year, this year up so far where we made like twenty k in profit or something like that. So we're break even because we're bootstrap and we're spending on all money. So we have, we have to be a little bit on top. Yeah, so it's like three thousand bucks a month, something like that on average. You're taking to the bottom line. Something like that. Yes, that's good. We'll call it one point five percent EBITDA margin. Okay, on your one hundred thirty top line, that's good. <laughs> All right. What's your team size today? How many people? Uh, 26 or 27. How many engineers? Uh, seven. And how many are quota carrying? How many are? Qu have quota. Like okay. sales, like salesperson quota. You pay commission. Ah, okay. 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 Uh, five, uh, eight, 12. 12. Oh, wow. You have a lot of salespeople. Yes. I have one for every country where we're present. One for Spanish market, one for Italian, three or four for Romanian, two for Greek market. Who makes the most, I bet you it's the Spaniard. Who makes the most money? Romania. Really? Because that's you, right? Yes, because <laughs> Spain and Italy, we just started. <laughs> All right. I see, I see three digits increase month over month. Actually, this is our third month in Italy and Spain. And we went to, I'm like, I will tell you exactly. We have like, 7,402 lay for made in Spain, meaning that 1,800 euros. Okay, what quota are the salespeople on? Uh, like what's their target? How much do you want them to close in new, new revenue per month? Uh, around uh, 20, paying customer per, 20 paying customers per month. Okay, so 20 customers per each quota carrying rep. You have 12 of them. So what is that? About 240 new customers That's per month. That's per the month. goal? Yes, yes, but we're not that there yet. Romanian, Romanian, uh, the Romanian colleagues uh, achieved the targets. Bulgaria, Greece, uh, there's, they're, they're increasing, but they are not there yet. And Italy and Spain, they just began, so we don't have available. Uh, let's say good numbers. This feels them. like the Olympics or the World Cup. It's like you know the countries competing against each other. <laughs> I have to find the teams like this, you know. <laughs> I love that. Uh, listen, you can be really good at sales, but if they don't stick, it doesn't matter. What's churn today? Uh, hi. 4.8. Monthly? Monthly. And is that on a logo this basis? Or... We changed pricing. That's a logo basis or revenue basis? Uh, re rephrase. In other words, is that the amount of revenue that you lose each month, about 4.7%? or no, the... The, the number of customers that we, I lose I see. over a month, 4.8. So in January, we had, we had six, and then we decreased to five, and now 4.8. This is the pr uh, pricing change. Uh, is part of the strategy of our strategy in order to reduce charge. Yeah, that's good. Now, do you have any expansion revenue each month or no? If I have any... Expansion revenue would be customers you signed up a year ago that you're upgrading. Uh, we're actually, we're very permissive in, in, in subscription. You don't, uh, you, don't, uh, you don't commit for one year. You can cancel the subscription anytime you want. And we're updating also this because... This but do you drive... Ex do you have a method right now to get someone that pays a hundred bucks a month in year one to upgrade them to 200 bucks a month in year two. No, the only strategy that we need to increase their traffic because they're paying based on their sessions. So we need to 
increase their traffic in order to get more revenue for them. And so we consider we your... Issue. Go ahead. If we have a, a new product in uh, in uh, in product pro, pro product on on the pipeline right now that will increase uh, the revenue per customer because we have we it, it adds more features to their accounts. When you look at your sales team and your fully weighted CAC, what are you spending to get a new hundred fifty dollar a month customer? Uh, l- less than 10, 12 percent out of the lifetime value. What I do know you... for sure. So around uh, 600 or 700 euros. I know for sure that I can accelerate up to 30 percent of their lifetime of the lifetime value of the customer. Okay. Uh, and I, I think I will less than 10 or something like that. 10, 12 percent. So you'll spend 700 dollars to get a new 150 dollar a month customer for a five month payback period. Not a five month. It's a 20, almost 20 months. No, no, that's lifetime value. Five month payback means that's how long it takes you to be break even on the customer. Uh, yes, 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 indeed, indeed. Yeah, 20 month LTV makes sense. Yes. All right, very good, Rarish. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Uh, the He's, sales acceleration formula. <laughs> of course. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Uh, I really like the, the way uh, this guy from uh, Jack Ma from Alibaba does things. Number three, what's your favorite online tool for building your company? Uh, online, I don't have one. Number f- uh, four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Uh, seven, eight. And what's your situation? Married, single kids? Married, two kids. And one, how- uh, another one on the way. How old are you? 34 this year. Oh, very good. All right, last question. What do you wish your 20 year old self knew? To be more trusty than than I was like 15 years ago. Be more, more what? Trust, to have more trust and to have more confidence in his, uh, you know, in his beliefs. Yep. Guys, be more confident. Retargeting.biz now serving 850 customers, paying 150 bucks a month. So about $130,000 a month in revenue, up from $35,000 a month a year ago. Pure SaaS, Pure SaaS. They are really helping. Uh, really, It's essentially a, a tool that's helping marketing automation uh, inside of e commerce companies, right? Scaling nicely. They spent 50 grand to build their MVP. Now today, cash flow positive. Team of 27, seven engineers, 12 salespeople, 58%, or call it 4.7% churn per month as they look to drive that down. Spending 700 bucks to get a new $150 a month customer for a five month payback period. Rawash, thank you for taking us to the top. Nathan, you're amazing. <laughs> Congrats.